Yes, you have read the title correctly. This is an Xbox One that was damaged by milk. Yes, milk. I paid £30 for it on eBay and it says that it doesn't turn on. Let's see what happens. When I tell you that somebody has sent literally everything in this box, I'm going to assume it's because they just don't want to get rid of their rubbish and they want to send other people their rubbish. This isn't filling the box to help the Xbox. This is sending me rubbish. They are using me as a bin. I'm going to do what everyone wants me to do when clicking this video and that's going to be to smell it because this is where the possible milk damage is. <sighs> Nothing milky just yet. Side note, you have to love eBay. Listing was described as a few dents and scratches on the housing. Not a great big crack. Look at this. What? It's not going to, but let's see if this turns on. Nothing, no power at all. On the power brick itself, it goes from a orange light to a white light back to an orange light, so we'll see what's going on. Let's take this apart. Surprisingly, the ribbon cable is attached, so I'm happy about that. All right, disconnected. Let's see what the damage is. Ah! On the face of it, do you know what? It doesn't even look that bad. Maybe there's a little bit of milk damage here, but we'll go a little bit further. Looking at it from a perspective that I've just opened the case, it looks dusty in certain areas, but they're very specific areas so I think somebody has been onto this board and cleaned it there seems to be like a like a scratch mark around here of dust um, that actually doesn't come off that easy so whether or not that's damaged anything I have no idea but all in all the console is relatively clean with little areas full of dust that I think they might have just missed let me take out the next layer someone's definitely been in here because the two screws up here and the two screws down here are not in place I've just taken the hard drive out. I'm going to test it on my PC. I don't think this is going to stop the console from actually turning on, but I'm just going to check it real quick. If it was turning on, then turning off straight away, it could be a hard drive issue. Yep, I've just checked. This is showing up on my PC with all the correct partitions, so it should be okay. And I can see they've actually replaced recently the thermal paste. That is like some green Ghostbuster thermal paste that I've never seen in my entire life. In the other circumstances with uh, dead Xbox Ones where they've just not turned on, I'll check the power rail, but I'm a little bit concerned because They've taken this off already, so it makes me think they've checked this. But nonetheless, let's have a butcher's. We now have the multimeter in diode mode. I'm gonna put the red probe on ground. And what we're looking for on each of these MOSFETs down on the power rail, down here on the side, on the gate of them, we're looking for around about 0.6 volts on the multimeter. So I'm just gonna go through real quick. Okay, so they all seem to be fine. Something very strange has just happened. When I've put the power in the board, the CPU is getting very hot and the Xbox power brick is staying on. So I'm just gonna slowly put some things back together. I've just put the fan back on only and plugged it in. So let's see if it actually spins up now. I can hear like a big whining noise. The fan isn't powering on, but the brick isn't turning off also. I'm just plugging in the on button essentially, to see if that helps and it just doesn't turn on. So I'm not getting no LED light down the bottom here. The Xbox just isn't starting up. I'm gonna pause this right now and just say that, yes, I was pressing the LED light instead of the on button. That happens a couple times throughout this video. Please forgive me. But the power brick is now behaving differently. That's what's weird about this. Oh, wait a minute. The LED light's on. And the Xbox One turns on. Okay, very confused. It's going to turn off because there's no hard drive in. I'm just going to take the power out. And I'm going to plug some more things in to see if something stops it from turning on. Hard drive's plugged in now, so what I'm going to do is plug in a HDMI and the power and see if I get anything on my screen. What's funny is that the button doesn't actually turn on. It will just, I'm assuming, it will just start spinning in a sec. Scrap that, the power brick has just turned off. So is it hard drive then? Very strange. I haven't made any changes other than putting the HDMI in. So I've taken the HDMI out now as well. But this was working a second ago. Let me take out this board and see if I get anything from here. I've left the power in, I probably shouldn't. Is it the board? Let me get another front board. So I'm just putting the power in with a, this is a different front board. This one that I've got here is a different front board. So I'm just testing with this now. I'm getting that same buzzing noise. The brick is on, but the Xbox itself hasn't turned on. And I'm pressing the button and the Xbox isn't turning on. Because you're not pressing the button. So I've just put the hard drive back in, this is on, the cable's in, but I've still got nothing. Now I know it sounds strange, but there does look to be, in here, a little bit of a milky pin. You see this one? Third in? Fourth in maybe? Maybe fourth? 
That looks a little bit milky. So I'm just going to get some IPA, isopropyl alcohol, and a toothbrush. I'm just going to clean out this and see if maybe that makes a difference. Just giving that a good clean with IPA. This is the original board that I'm just going to give a quick clean. If they're saying it's milk damage, then it could be milk damage on one of these pins, and that's what's causing the Xbox to not turn on. Everything else seems fine. The CPU gets hot. The fan spins when the Xbox actually turns on. So I feel like if we could just get this fixed, that'd be a win. I've just pressed on the like where the eject bit is for the ribbon cable and that seems to turn it on. So we have power. Now what I'm going to do really quickly is just plug in the HDMI and see if I get anything on the screen. But it's also not got an OS to boot into so let me plug in the hard drive again. And there we have it. We also have picture. I know it looks very dodgy to you guys at the moment but it actually turns on. I feel like cleaning the area that we did has fixed it. I'm including this because I was testing with the known good front board so i'm just going to test with the faulty one that came with the console and make sure yeah it's turning the xbox on you can see from the led light and the fan should spin in three two all right you caught me off guard a little bit but yeah so that works as well the faulty one that came with the xbox i'm going to put it back together i'm going to test it with the case intact with the ribbon cable etc and if the ribbon cable works it turns the console on i'll take it apart and give it a good old clean better than what it is at the moment replace that weird thermal paste and then put it back together and see if it works this is the front panel of the faulty one. Again, you can see here there is like another milk-like substance. So again, I will give this a clean, but let's test and see if it works. Okay, here's the Bosch setup. So I'm just gonna plug in again the HDMI and the power. Actually, before I turn it on, should have done this at the start really. Should have plugged in the little speaker so you guys could hear when it was turned on or not. Let's see if it'll turn on. Three, two, one. No, so I think this front Panel is damaged. If I push on the actual connector itself, it will turn on. Interesting, okay. I've got myself here a different front panel connector, so let's try that. Let's plug in the speaker. Three, two, one. The LED light is on down here. The machine's spinning up, and I have now noticed, <laughs> please don't hate me, but this was an issue from before. When I took it apart, it kind of looked like that and I didn't think anything of it, but then if I flip it around, it looks like somebody has attempted to repair this and either failed or it maybe was a temporary solution for the person who owned it and it used to work, but it definitely now doesn't. And it seems to be working absolutely fine. Let me give it a clean and put everything back together. All right, everything seems to be fine. You can hear the disc drive. That unfortunately didn't have any bonus discs, but that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you have a good rest of your weekend as well. Ciao for now, and peace.